Yo, what's good, fam? It's your man, Jay. I'm back with another episode of Evolutionary Comics. And uh, today I am uh, I'm doing uh, another haul video, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't really like calling it a haul video, especially when it's like just a casual trip to the comic book store. But anyway, basically what happened, my man Sherrick down at Plant City Comics Cafe, um, he posted on his Instagram, which you guys should check out. I'll put the link in the bottom. Um, he posted a book that I needed for my collection, for my Black Panther collection. Um, I didn't have that particular book, and it's something that I had passed on earlier, you know, while I was collecting, but it's a variant cover that I, it's one of those things that, you know, you're, you're just supposed to have in your collection if you're a Black Panther collector. So I went down to check him out. It also happened to be his birthday, so happy birthday, bro. Um, I appreciate you. I enjoy our friendship. And uh, I look forward to uh, to more collecting adventures together, and especially uh, them them grown folk books. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna just show y'all what the books are. So let's get it. All right, so like I said, it was my man's birthday. Um, he wasn't at the shop. I went in. I met his guy, Randall, who runs the shop when he's not there. Um, me and him had a great conversation. Uh, he, he's somebody that, you know, is going to be added to my friend list because uh, just the value and the like-mindedness in, uh, in collecting, but the value that he gave me as far as um, doing social media stuff. I'm not really great at the social media stuff. Um, I'm doing the YouTube thing and I'm getting very little traction. It feels like I'm, I'm spinning my wheels. And especially, you know, because I'm so inconsistent is one of the reasons. But also, I think it's something going on as far as the algorithm. Um, if you type in evolutionary comics in YouTube, you're not going to get my page. You have to type in at evolutionary, which is really weird for me. Um, but Nevertheless, um, he gave me some advice on uh, pulling in TikTok um, and then doing more engagement uh, with different people on different social platforms. So that's something I'm going to try and I'm going to see if that helps me out so I can reach more people. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, the Black Comic Lords. Um, they explored a subject the other day uh, where um, I can't remember the brother's name, but uh, he basically asked a question about um, why do we not judge uh, black indie comics the same way we do mainstream. And um, I thought that was a very, very interesting uh, conversation. It was a very um, informative from both sides of the coin, um, how people view things. Um, I think I'm, I'm not guilty of it because I really don't do um, reviews like I keep saying I'm gonna do, but um, it is something that I want to get into doing more reviews. And I have a lot of indie comics, um, a lot of black indie comics in my collection, um, but I'm guilty because I don't highlight them. And that's one of the things that we want to do. We want to give more shine to it. Um, I don't know where it is because I'm still unpacking from the hurricane, but um, I want to always give a shout out to my man, Newton Lillavoy's and uh, Giancarlo Burnell. Those that they're black indie comic creators, they created Crescent City Monsters. Um, they also uh, created Keisha the Demon Eater. They got some more stuff coming out. So I'm going to always highlight them because that is in my top three favorite comic book series, period, in existence. Marvel, DC or whatever. Um, Jonas is my dude. So that's I want to shout them out and I'm going to put a little graphic up so you can see it real quick. Um, but back to the video. Um, I went down and I see, uh, I went to go see my man, Sherrick. He uh, wasn't there and uh, he ended up coming down to bring me the book that um, I had asked him to get for me or to hold for me. And um, I cannot go in a comic book shop and just get one thing. Um, he, he's uh, a friend enough to let me see some of the inventory that hasn't made it out to the sales floor yet. And uh, that's what I basically grabbed. So like I said, me and him are a fan of grown folks comics. And um, so some of this stuff is going to be like, it's not so much kid friendly, not at all kid friendly. Let me correct that. So 
The first book, though, um, is a regular book, and this is Dark Rain, The Hood, number one. And this particular book, um, everybody knows about The Hood, I think, and uh, The Hood is supposed to be a character that's going to be in the new Riri Williams movie uh, or the Riri Williams show. Uh, I don't really know a lot about The Hood. I didn't get his uh, first appearance, his first series, um, his backstory or anything like that. But... I had picked up some of these um, Dark Rain, the Hood books from uh, from the, the Brandon comic, the Brandon comic fanfare. So um, I had to. I'm trying to complete the set. I picked up like three and four. So I got number one today, which is this one. So you guys can see that I got this one, and then like I said, I got three and four. Um, or four and five, can't remember, but it's a five book series and I wanna collect all of them because I am a completionist when it comes to comics. Um, I also picked up Mario Gully. Shout out to my man, Mario Gully. Uh, me and him are friends on Facebook. He's a really dope dude. He's done a lot of stuff that I didn't even know about that I'm learning about from Facebook. Um, some of the older stuff that he did, not just his greatest uh, comic book creation, but a whole lot of other stuff. And um, I've been collecting this particular series that he created. And this is Ant Unleashed. This one is by Big City Comics. And this one, let me get it right. There you go. Um, this one is actually uh, just a three book series. Um, and I think the next one that there's one on Arcane Comics and then there's one on Image Comics. So he has those three series out before, uh, I think the guy's name is Eric Larson. I think he uh, he actually took over after that. But this is Mario Gully's uh, creation. And as you see, you see why. Um, Ant is a really dope character. It's about a girl um, who has an imagination of being a, an adult and being a, a crime fighter. And as you see, she's very shapely. So it's a little different, but this is absolutely a dope series. Um, and you can see why I was attracted to picking up this book in the first place. All right, so this next book, like I say, it, it's not kid friendly, um, but it, it, it even says on the cover, adults only. I picked this one up. It's by uh, Stan Jinx and Cindy Crowell. Um, it's called Filthy Animals, and it is an erotic comic. And uh, I grabbed this one from him. Um, I am gonna get the whole series eventually. I'm gonna track down it because again, I'm a completionist. It's something I want the whole series for. But um, if you're into erotic comics, which a lot of people are afraid to admit, um, I'm not. You know, I'm a, I'm a very open book um, as far as what I collect and what I do. I don't have nothing to hide. I'm not shameful or anything. But um, I picked this up and it's absolutely dope. And um, I hope that he is able to acquire the rest of the series for me so I can go and get it from him. And along those lines, this is All Run, and this is also an adult uh, adults only comic. And this is from er Eros Comics. And this is uh, All Run number five. And like I said, that's, this is a cover that, you know, I don't know, some people may find offensive, but it is what it is. They're all covered up, so you can't really see any vital parts that, um, that may get it blocked from YouTube. So um, yeah, anyway, this is really dope. Um, if you're into erotic comics, things of that nature, this is something that you may want to go seek out and uh, add to your collection as well. All right, so this next book, um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that um, I'm a photographer and um, I do boudoir and I do uh, artistic nudes. Um, and part of my motivation is, um, I'm not gonna say part of my motivation, but part of my inspiration um, and what I do is I am a huge Frank Frazetta fan. And uh, if you know Frank Frazetta, you know that he's known for um, his artwork is always uh, showing very shapely women um, fighting monsters and all kind of crazy stuff. So I'm a super fan of his. And I've seen this picture multiple times, but um, this is the first time that I actually seen it on a book. And I don't know if this is the first time it appeared on a book, but this is Super Spectacular Creepy number 92. This is from Warren Magazine. Um, and this is one of Frank Frazetta's most notable pictures. Um, this is something that, you know, when you're talking about Frank Frazetta, if you Google Frank Frazetta right now, this picture is gonna be one of the pictures that pop up. So 
I've been collecting the little monster mag. I call them monster magazines. I'm not sure what else you would call it, but um, creepy, uh, savage, savage tales, some Conan stuff, different things like that I've been collecting. But um, this is something that I had to have because uh, it got Frank Frazetta artwork on it. So yeah, that's why I picked this up. Um, and Sherrick was, was awesome enough. He gave me a discount on it. Um, it does have like um, on the side right here, it has a little couple of creases, um, little spine ticks also, but I don't care about that because it's not something that I'm going to get graded. Um, you know, I'm not into, I'm trying to move away from the whole grading thing. So, well, that's a whole different conversation. But yeah, I'm super happy to have this book. And the inside artwork, there's multiple artists that are doing multiple stories that uh, the artwork is immaculate. It is awesome. And um, yeah, so check it out. All right, so speaking of dope artwork, um, you know, like uh, one, one of my homies used to always say, uh, he always, in photography, he always would be like, um, you don't have to be naked to be sexy. That is very true. And it's also, you don't have to be clothed to be sexy as well. So it's an either or, it's whatever your preference is. So this next book is super sexy to me and she has full clothing on. So that's gonna be the, you know, the duality of, of, my, uh, of my affections as far as what I collect. But this is um, Superman Action Comics, issue number uh, 1059. And it looks like it has a couple of different people working on it. I can't tell the signature. Um, ah, it's by Carla Cohen. But this book is absolutely beautiful. Has a beautiful sister on there with the locks. The Superman, Supergirl, I, I don't even know um, exactly. I thought at first that it was um, Steele's niece, um, but I don't think that's that's who that's supposed to be. I'm not sure. I don't really read Superman comic books, so I get thrown off a little bit, but I do kind of, I know that uh, Steele has a niece, and um, I can't remember, I know her last name is Irons. I can't remember her first name, but I don't know if that's her or not. I just know that this is a hella dope cover um, he had a couple of copies of this, so I don't know if he's gonna, if Sherrick is gonna actually sell the other ones or keep them all in his personal collection, but I got one, so I'm happy with that. Y'all check it out. It's, it's nice, right? And anything that you see, um, when I pick up books, I generally put it on my Instagram as well, so I wanna be, want people to be able to have a better view. I'm also going to, like I alluded to in the beginning of the video, um, I'm also going to get more active on TikTok. So the things that you see on Instagram, you're also going to be able to see it on TikTok. I am going to do like brief reviews and talk about different things, why I picked them up specifically, and um, just be a little bo bit more focused on particular books. But um, I can't remember <laughs> my Instagram, uh, but I am going to put it, I'll put it below when I get ready to edit this video. And um, you guys check me out on there. Go over there, give me a follow. Um, you know, and also like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and go over there, hit me up with a like. And then if you really want to conversate with me, you want to talk to me, Instagram has been where, um, I communicate with people the most. So I'm just trying to open it up and, um, give people different avenues of being able to communicate and enjoy the content that I put out and just add more content, hopefully. All right. So the last book that I picked up, um, this is a book that, like I said, it's a must have in your collection if you're a hip hop fan or if you're a Black Panther fan. And I missed out on this one and I missed out on um, the Miles Morales Nas cover. And it was so crazy because I was in New Orleans and um, this is when I was first starting back to collect. Um, I was at a photography conference and um, I had a break and I broke uh, everywhere I go. I always try to find comic book shops and I went to Crescent City comics in new orleans and um they had some of the dopest stuff it's a really really great shop really nice shop i can't wait to revisit and go back there again so i can stop in you know and chat them up but um they i was going through the stacks or whatever and i saw the the nas cover the miles morales nas cover and i don't remember why i didn't buy it i i just i think it was like right after miles came out and i was just like eh, whatever um I think that's the time frame but anyway i just passed on it then i came across this particular cover and i did the same thing so this is retribution i actually finally got my cover 
and this is the Jay-Z. This is, um, I think this is the, what, Back in Black? What, I can't remember the name of the album, but I, I have the album, and this is the cover, the Black Panther cover for that. I really wanted this book in my collection. I've been wanting it for a while. I'm trying to make sure that I have, like, every, every corner, every, everything unturned when it comes to Black Panther and have all of the covers. Um, I have over here to the side, I have actually a stack of Ultimate Black Panther comics where I have actually every cover that came out, um, except for those like exclusive store variants. Some of those I might have missed, but that's how I am. Blah, blah, blah. But that's how I am when it comes to collecting Black Panther comics. So I'm trying to make sure that the glare is not too bad, where you can actually see it. Um, if it, if you can't really see it that good uh, when the video when I do the video, then I'll just do an extra graphic for it. But yeah, I picked this up. He held it for me. And it was, it was kind of dope because when he came in, um, he came in with a box. And I'm thinking that he just got, you know, some mail or whatever. But he opens the box and he unwraps it. And it's like protected by bubble wrap and everything. And he's like, here you go. So I'm super happy to have this. I thank you again, Sherry. I hope you had a great birthday. I really appreciate getting this book. And um, yeah, that's what it is. So if you're ever in the central florida area if you're ever coming from orlando to tampa or whatever if you know where plant city is it's a nice little community it's a nice little area um it's not just it's not a um, big city like tampa per se but um it's really a nice little quiet town and so if you're in that area stop in and holler at my man sherry and uh you guys check out plant city comics cafe it is a up-and-coming comic book store uh, also a cafe, but the, he has some really dope stuff. He has some stuff that uh, that hasn't seen the light of day yet. And um, when, if you guys if you guys give it a chance, this is gonna be this potentially is gonna be the dopest comic book shop in the land. Uh, and I don't say that lightly because, like I said, I've been I've traveled a lot from going as far west as um, Texas all the way up to Philadelphia. Um, all the way down to Miami and everywhere in between that I could go into different comic book shops. And like I said, this right here is, is has the potential to be one of the best. So you guys stop in, check him out, chat him up and, um, you know, buy something. Always, always support black. So um, that's where it's at. This is what I picked up. I hope you guys have a great morning. I'm going to go edit this video and then I'm going to add another video because I never put out the... Uh, the Brandon comic, I always have to think about the title, the Brandon comic fanfare that was uh, a week ago in Brandon, Florida, which is not too far from Plant City. But um, I went there and I picked up some stuff. So you guys check that out to see what I also picked up. So anyway, that's it for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. And uh, as I always say, Continue to evolve. It's your man, Jay, and this is Evolutionary Comics, baby. Holla at your boy. Peace.